Today we're at Bazaz Performance and we're going to be installing our full ZFI TC and all available accessories including our self-mapping kit on this 2009 Ducati 848. Before we proceed with the installation I'd like to take a moment and explain to you all the components that come included with the Bazaz kit. The first thing you'll come to is the actual fuel control unit itself and this is the module that does fuel control, quick shift and traction control. It performs all the functions. Okay. And you've got a nice little insert. You pull the insert out, and you've got a fuel harness, okay, that connects to all injectors and other required components. You've got a coil harness that's required for the quick shift and traction control feature, okay. USB cable for connecting to your PC, uh, shift switch for the quick shift feature, okay. Shift rod associated with the quick shift, and you've got a warning label, instructions and also the required software. So everything you need to install the Bazaz system comes with the kit. To begin the installation, we first have to remove the fuel tank, the side fairings, uh, some side panels, and also the seat to get to the required uh, sensors and sock harness connectors. After removing the rear tank bolt, you're gonna wanna remove the two vent hoses, disconnect the stock fuel pump harness connector, and also disconnect the supply and return fuel line of the gas tank. Now that we've got the fuel tank, the side fairings, the seat off, we can now get to all the necessary components to fully connect the Bazaz system. We're going to start on this side of the bike. We've got the front cylinder injector connector, the rear cylinder injector connector, your throttle position sensor, your stock O2 sensor connector, your speed sensor connector, and in the back of the engine is also the neutral sensor pickup. On this side of the bike, you've got the front cylinder coil connector, You've got the rear cylinder coil connector, and you need crank position, which can be found right by the battery, okay? And that's this three-pin connector. In order to get switch 12 volts power, we're going to go to the uh, stock harness tail light connector, which can be found under the seat. First step of the installation is to find a mounting location for the control unit. On this bike, we're going to place the control unit under the rider seat. We've got the harness out of the box, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the fuel harness connector into our control unit, okay? And then we're going to begin to route the harness to the uh, rest of the sensors and injectors that we need to connect to on the bike. Now we're going to install the Bazaz power connectors in line with the bike's tail light connector. Put this guy in. As we begin to install the harness, we're going to make all the necessary connections, but we're not going to uh, zip tie or cable tie the harness in place. We're going to do that once all the connections have been made. We're going to take the harness and run it inbound of the frame, with the exception of the crank position connector, which is the only connector on the uh, left side of the bike. So we're going to put that on that side of the bike, make these connections, and then go back and connect the crank position sensor in line. Remove one of the chassis bolts and install the ground load. Locate the throttle position sensor, disconnect the stock harness connector from the sensor, and pull out the orange wire. Install the supplied scotch lock in the Bazaz kit onto the orange wire. Then insert the blue wire with the T-tap connector into that scotch lock. Reinstall the stock harness connector onto the throttle position sensor. Disconnect the stock O2 sensor from the harness and replace the stock O2 sensor with the Bazaz O2 eliminator. What we're doing here is we unplug the stock O2 sensor connector and we're just securing it out of the way of any uh, heated or mechanical parts that may move uh, to keep, keep uh, damage from happening to the harness lead. Disconnect the stock speed sensor connector and place the Bazaz speed sensor connectors in line. Remove the stock neutral sensor barrel connector, crimp on supplied scotch lock connector onto the wire, and then install the Bazaz white and blue wire with T-tap. We're going to install the Bazaz injector connectors in line with the injector and stock harness injector connector. We're going to install the Bazaz injector connectors in line with the injector and stock injector connectors for the front cylinder. This particular injector connector is very difficult to get to because the uh, space 
constraints are very uh, tight, but it, it is necessary to completely install the system. We're going to route the Bazaz crank position sensor connector inbound of the frame down to the stock sensor connector and stock harness connector. Installation of the fuel harness is complete. Now install the coil harness. To begin installation of the coil harness, begin by plugging in the main connector into the Bazaz control unit. Disconnect the stock coil connectors okay. for cylinder one and place the Bazaz coil connectors in line. Repeat with the rear cylinder. Remove the stock shift rod and replace it with the Bazaz shift switch and shift rod. To accommodate your preferred lever positioning, the Bazaz shift rod can be modified to suit any length required. We've already established ours and cut a rod down. The Bazaz shift switch is capable of mounting in either position. We choose to mount it in the front to make routing of the cable neater. If an optional TC switch has been purchased, now is the best time to install the switch and route the harness. The TC switch is equipped with a 10 position rheostat to adjust TC sensitivity, and it has a mating connector that installs into the Bazaz system's coil harness. It also has a map select switch, which plugs into a mating connector on the Bazaz fuel harness. At this point, all the necessary components have been installed and all the connections have been made. Now we can go back, trace the system, and install zip ties or cable ties throughout the harness to tidy up. Okay, now that the harness has been tidied up with zip ties, we're going to go ahead, reinstall the fuel tank, side fairing, seat, and fire the bike up just to do a general diagnostic check.